PS5 Pro has finally been revealed, but is it even worth it? We get the price point, we get the specs, we get the release date, we get everything in between. But the biggest question, of course, is, is it worth it? The $700 price point, is it worth it? In this video, I'm going to share with you guys what a lot of you guys have told me, and I'm also going to give you guys my brutal, honest opinion about it. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the entire end. Make sure to hit a like, comment down below if you're new, subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. I'm going to get the PS5 Pro Launch Edition when it gets released for $700. And I feel like a sucker, to be completely honest, for doing so. But I do want to see what the PS5 Pro is capable of, and I also want to cover it for you guys in future videos now keep in mind when a console first launches there's gonna be a better version down the line so if you don't have the money for a ps5 pro right now just look at when the playstation 5 got released place the launch playstation 5 got released it was this big old monster of a thing and then they updated it and made it a little bit smaller made it run a little bit smoother and it's better uh, so if you want to wait, definitely wait. The price point is probably going to go down as well. Uh, $700 is really steep, but if you live in the UK or other regions, you guys have been telling me uh, 700 US dollars does not compare to your money and what you're actually going to pay if you paid US dollars over in your country is like $900, which that is a lot more and I shouldn't even be complaining, but people in the U.S. are going to become plain because $700 is pretty steep. If we looked at the PlayStation 4 and then the PlayStation 4 Pro, the price difference was $100. But the price difference from the PlayStation 5 to the PlayStation 5 Pro being $700 is substantially more now you are going to see a difference in resolution frame rate ray tracing you're going to see deeper depth shadows and all the beautiful things but my question to a lot of you guys is do you have the tv that would support a playstation 5 pro now in my other room i do and i'm probably going to see a big difference uh right here this one right here I'm not going to see Jack Diddley squat. Honestly, honestly, I need to upgrade this one in order to see what the PS5 Pro is capable of doing. Of course, I can use my monitors that are right in front of me though, because those are honestly kick butt. But if I wanted to use this TV, I might as well just use my regular PlayStation 4. And that's my personal opinion. So make sure you have uh, the upgraded TV. Make sure you have the TV or computer monitor, preferably, um, because in my other room, I actually play on a computer monitor as well. Um, make sure you have a screen that is capable of running the specs that the PS5 Pro is going to do. Now, two terabytes is a lot better than what we currently have with the PlayStation 5. So I definitely can see why there's a price increase for that, but the rumors were that the price was gonna be around $600. And even I thought it was gonna be around $600. We were completely off and they said it was $700. Now, what a lot of people are rumoring is that Sony set the price so high because they know scalpers are gonna to try to buy up all the consoles. So rather than the scalpers buy up all the consoles and resell them and make a profit. People are rumoring that Sony and PlayStation decided, you know what, we're gonna set the price high so we don't have to deal with the scalpers and we can get all that money to ourselves. Now, that is just rumor and speculation. I do wanna throw that uh, disclaimer out there. Keep in mind, Sony and PlayStation did just raise the price of the DualSense controller from $70 to $75. And then if you want a color version of the controller, it's from $75, it's going to jump up to $80. So there is a $5 price increase on the controller itself. Um, so that's why a lot of people are speculating uh, about the price for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, in all honesty, if you already have a PlayStation 5 and you're happy with it, I'm happy with mine, then... I'd probably wait. If you want to get a second PlayStation 5 uh, for your home, maybe you have kids or you want to get it for somebody else, by all means, 
go and do that. Uh, I'm not trying to sway somebody from buying a PlayStation 5 Pro or, you know, convince them to get a PlayStation 5 Pro. I just want everybody to make a, a conscious decision on whether or not getting a PlayStation 5 Pro is worth it to you. Is the price point going to be basically worth your money? That's what you got to think about. Now, I'm going to pass all the questions off to the comments down below. Make sure you drop a comment. And if you have, you know, some information, make sure you go and check the comments and reply to people and give your own advice and make your voices heard. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I just wanted to go over it because uh, in my previous video, we just kind of went over the live stream and everything else but i wanted to kind of digest it and uh share with you guys my honest opinion after i've been sitting here for a couple hours just thinking about it and reading a lot of your guys's comments and questions and concerns so thank you guys again you guys are freaking out